Hey, how you doing today? We're gonna to be looking at overflow from Hack the Box, and this is just a super short video showing uh, how we're gonna abuse a time of check, time of use vulnerability. Uh, the binary we're messing with checks to see if the file we're reading is owned by root and then won't do it. Um, but there's some time between when it does that check and when it actually does the read, and we're gonna abuse that to swap out what file it's actually looking at and uh, read a file as root. So um, I actually reported this video back in the fall when I did the box for the first time. So it's uh, definitely an older video, but I think it still looks good. There's no camera in it, um, but otherwise, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. We'll go ahead and dive in. So XDF, and I'm looking at the very end of overflow from Hack the Box. Um, <clears throat> I've done a bunch of analysis on this binary, and I've already figured out that basically there's a race condition where it won't be able to read uh, files owned as root, but then there's a small sleep before it actually tries to open it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have a while loop that is constantly uh, check creating a, a file. And this is the file I'm going to try to read. I'm just going to, it's called L. Um, for reasons I won't go into in this video, it's got to be a very short file name. Um, and so what this while loop doing is while true, so just constantly run. It's going to remove L, and then it's going to create L that is a link to the flag I'm trying to get. It's going to sleep for three seconds, and it's going to remove that link, and it's going to replace it with just a regular old file, L, that's got the context oops. And it's going to sleep for three seconds, and it's just going to do that indefinitely. And so uh, if I run this, it's gonna, you're going to see it up here in the top window. In fact, I'll come out of here so you can see the uh, command we're running here. Oh, I'll see if I can grab it. Uh, it's gone. Okay, we'll do it anyway. Um, so we are here in this directory. There's these, the file L is here. So I'm going to do a watch minus D uh, minus N1 because I want it to go every one second. Um, although two would be fine, but one's a little bit better for this kind of short-term thing. And it's going to do an LS and the files... Uh, I want to watch our L and O. Um, so what this is doing basically is every second it's going to update and it's going to put the output of this command down here. And so you can see it's switching back and forth between this link to root.txt and a five byte static file, which is oops plus the end line. So, so now what I'm going to do down here, I've got my exploit. And what I want to do when I first run the exploit within basically immediately, it's going to do a stat on the file and it's going to check and see if it's owned by root. And if it's owned by root, it's going to bail. Um, so I want to run that when L is the five byte normal file, not the link file. Um, then it does a three second sleep. And so what's cool is if I start this when it's the five byte file, it, it'll be into its three second sleep. So it'll finish, th that three second sleep in my while loop will finish before the three seconds to say leap in the file encrypt program. And so by the time file encrypt is ready to actually read the file, it'll have switched back. And so I'm going to wait and I see it switch now. So I go ahead and hit run. It's checking it, seeing that it's a file. It's okay. So now it's going and it core dumps because of the way I'm exploiting to get there. But you can see O is actually created here and it's 33 bytes long. That's the length of the user, you know, root.txt file. Um, I can go ahead and decrypt that real quick. Um, I just do it from a Python terminal. Uh, so what I'm going to do is with uh, open slash temp slash OXDF slash O. Get my file name. It's a binary read as, as F. Inc equals F dot read. So I'm going to read it all in there. You can see the encrypted bytes look like that. And then I just need to do a, so I'm going to do a X for X in ink. So I'm going to loop over, I'm going to loop over those bytes. And if I just do that, actually each byte's going to be an integer. Uh, so I just need to then XOR that with OX uh, 9B. So there you go. That's what it's going to look like as ASCII characters. Um, I can go ahead and convert those into characters. Like putting F in and char. And then, of course, I want to make this one nice string. So I'm going to come up here and do an empty string dot join. And what that's going to do is going to join each item in the array w by putting it together with nothing. You know, if I wanted to put something in the middle, I could. You know, if I did uh, colon... There's going to be with the colon, but I don't want that, so I'm just going to put it here. Uh, new line on the end, we could strip that off, or we can just print it, and there we go. Now I got the flag. Um, and, and I can do the same thing. I'll show in the blog post. I can do the same thing to read Root's um, RSA key and SSHN to get a shell as well. Uh, that's all I got for today. Talk to you next time.